What's up, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, the Memphis XLR8, coming at you with 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Every day for 100 days, we duel with a different deck every single day. Today, we're taking a look at some good old battling boxes, which is a Fire Warrior archetype all about the Exceed Summoning. And we're having ourselves a good old time, even with these old dudes that are a little restrictive there. But regardless, there's some stuff we can do. There's some crazy stuff we can do. There's some newer stuff. I'm trying out the Flame Noble Arms in preparation for doing... Flame Noble Knights tomorrow, but regardless of that, today we're dueling with these guys, going first, stopping our opponent's stuff, punching them in the face. Thanks to Mr. Libra October, who suggested today's deck. Thanks, my dude. And so, let's go ahead and get ourselves started with today's deck, have ourselves a good time, show off some duels, and let's go. Alrighty, our first opponent going first is a key thing in this deck. We want to go first, we want to set a board up. We want to get everything we want prepared for, you know, our opponent. We're trying to react to our opponent, you know, like a boxer. You know, we'll let him throw a punch, but then we're going to, you know, beat away that punch. Punch him harder. That's the idea. That is the idea today. The sleeves turned out all right. You know, I know not everybody likes Logan Paul. I don't like him either. But he looks good with that Yugi hair, I gotta say. Astral 5? Sure, why not? I am totally fine with that indeed. Alright, interesting hand. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Summon out Headgear. Headgear's effect is that when he's normal summoned, I ditch a battle boxer. So I'll get rid of Switch Hitter. Then I'm gonna go ahead and play the Flame Noble Arms Joyous. One of the new equipped spells of the Flame Noble Knight variety. And by using this, I can get back my Switch Hitter at the cost of losing this. This is totally fine for us. I use this for Gear Freed anyway. And I've got my Sparrer. I can summon this dude from hand if I have a battling boxer. I just can't do battle phase this turn, but that's fine. We're going first. Let's go for a Baguska. Good old dang old Baguska. Just put him right there. Stall our opponent just a smidge. Just long enough to get everything set up that we want. And we're going to go ahead and end our turn. I've got a Cosmic Cyclone, a Solemn Strike, a Baguska. Things look good. I got Switch Hitter. You know, when he's summoned, I can bring back a battling boxer from the grave. Honestly, the one problem with battling boxers in general is that a lot of their stuff is restricted to themselves, which is unfortunate. Like, they could be so much better if that was not the case, but, you know, it's a thing. So let's go ahead, equip our Durendal onto our Bagusk. Just imagine him sleeping with that sword. That's how it is. And I can ditch this to get a level 5 or lower Fire Warrior. That way I can get more stuff. Um, good question. What do I want? Let's get Glass Jaw for no particular reason. I'm just going to get me a Glass Jaw. I'm going to set said Glass Jaw for now. And I'm going to end my turn. This guy, is, his name implies, is a Glass Cannon. 2,000 Beat Stick, but if he's attacked, he will automatically self-destruct. Although when he does so, you can get a battle box in the graveyard back to your hand. So there's some utility there. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's usually a target for, you know, switch hitter. As it stands right now, he's just going to sit there pretty for a minute. And things will be good. My opponent's setting up his own defenses. He's getting ready for me. Alright, so now what we're going to do, detach our last material from Baguska. Put him in attack mode. Put our glass jaw in attack mode. And let's go ahead and summon out our Switch Hitter. Like I said, Switch Hitter will get back a monster. Uh, doesn't really matter who, because they, neither of them does anything on the board right now. They have to be normal summoned and such. And let's go ahead. I can make a lot of things. I can make Star Cestus. I could make Nova Kaiser. I don't know. I can do a lot of stuff. In this situation, though, I'm going to go for Nova Kaiser just because. Um, yeah, we'll put you right here. Good old Nova Kaiser. You know, I can attach a battling box from hand or grave to this guy. He gets 100 attack for each. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the spar in my graveyard to this. And let's go for battle phase. I'm going to go ahead and attack my opponent's monsters. We'll see what he's up to. We'll see indeed. We're up against some world chalice nonsense. Okay. Explains why the Baguska was so effective. You know, that's just how it is. And a nice thing about my star or my battle boxer Nova Kaiser, when he is destroyed, 
I can bring back battle and boxes from my grave equal to the number of materials that are on him. So basically, I, you know, I can just bring back... Oh, I can't bring back exceeds, obviously, but I can bring back everything else. So it's nice. It's a nice thing I can do. Black Metal Dargan, I see. He's gonna go for that Striker Dragon. I'm gonna be like, no. I don't want him getting that Boot Sector launch if I can help it. If I can help it, I don't want him to get that Field Spell. I mean, I could have just given it to him. Let him, you know, banish it with the Cyclone, but... We have this in case he does for, you know, other stuff. You know? I just really don't want him to start swarming board and stuff if I can help it. If I can help it, but he surrenders, so interesting. I mean, granted, I was just going to annihilate him, I suppose, so. Rockets, they're a powerful deck, but if you can go first and lock them out with stuff, they're like a tiny little baby kitten. So there's our first win, and let's go ahead, go into the next duel, see if we can find our opponent who will give us a bit more back and forth. Alrighty, our second opponent, once again, going first is key. That's what I'd like to do. We'll see how it go. Let's see. Okay, yes, we're going first. Beautiful. All right, what do we got for an opening hand? An opening hand I can live with. All right, Master Rule, don't care. That'll work for me. That'll work just fine for me. All righty. Yeah, I was thinking what would be good for Battle of Boxes, because they really need some legacy support. And I'm thinking... And I'm thinking, and I'm thinking some more, you know, it'd be really nice if they just had, like, I don't know, some more exceeds and stuff. You know, like, maybe, oh, they need some more main deck monsters, too. So I'm thinking, you know, like, maybe three, four main deck monsters that work for swarming and stuff that don't lock them to battling boxes. That's important. Uh, give them two exceeds that do various things and, you know, give them also... Like, what do you call it? Yeah, give them a link. Like a link one or a link two that, you know, lets them extend their plays and stuff. And most importantly, give them some spells. You know, there's only one Battle and Boxer spell, and while Spirits is good, it requires, you know, a, you know, it requires you to have a graveyard first, so... Yeah, no, it, it could certainly be better. As for my stuff, I've got my Baguska. I don't have my Negations, which is unfortunate, but at least I got Baguska. I've got my switch hitter, I've got my glass jaw. I'm good and set up for next turn. We're up against some sort of combo -y deck, I have to say. He's got a 48 card main deck, so it has to be something of the like. So, Baguska should be good for locking that down for a bit. You know, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, no monster effects. No battles. I mean, granted, if he had like Karibo and some multiply action, I'd be in trouble because... Ah, okay, so he's got Mermails. Palladia Mermails. Interesting enough. Well, unfortunately for you, my friend, your monster effects don't apply. Very interesting. I mean, this is a water monster. For whatever odd reason. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so, some version of Palladians. This could be bad, though, because Palladians are link-based. So, he could conceivably make his plays. That's the one thing Baguska doesn't stop, it's Lynx. Because he was, you know, the, the people at Konami, you know, they had to finish out the numbers. They made Baguska and they were like, oh, uh, should this work on Lynx? And then they were like, no. And that was a smart move, in my opinion. Because honestly, making this thing work on Lynx would have just made it worse, in my opinion. Or at the very least, it wouldn't have made sense for the time. They made this guy in, you know, thinking about the time when the numbers were first made. And I think that was a smart move. A smart move on their part, indeed. Because if this just stopped all the monster effects and the battles, it would have just been really, really tiresome. Pun possibly intended. Alright, so now he's got his Megalo still, but he has nothing else. This is why Baguska is such a good start to him up for battle and boxes. Might have to consider running two next time. Oh, wait, I forgot to put Baguska in attack mode. I was so excited. I was so excited, man! I was gonna do stuff! But now I got Switch Hitter, and things are looking good. Let's go ahead and get our monster back. Hello. And... Let me think about this. I'm gonna go for Lead Yoke. I just wanna go for Lead Yoke for no particular reason. I could go for Star Cestus, but I don't really have a need to. 
And I could go for Spar, but then I won't be able to battle phase. So let's go ahead, feed over Abyss Megalo. He's going to be all gone. Then I'm going to attack with my Switch Hitter, attack with my Lady Oak. And we're just going to take a big old lead in life points. Really wish I had my Xyz block, though, because then I could negate some monster effects and stuff. As it stands. Ah, yeah, I can summon Spar now. See, this is where if I had myself, you know, another Baguska, it would be pretty good. Uh, as it stands, I'm going to make a Nova Kaiser. I'm going to make a Nova Kaiser just in case bad things happen. Go ahead and attach a material onto my boy. Uh, go for the switch hitter in the grave. How do you go? Looks good to me. I've got three big boys. Granted, one of them's about to go night night forever, but that's just how it goes. Yeah, what would I have a bottle and boxer link to? I'm thinking like if there was just like a link one one where you just summon like counter punch, link it away for the link dude. Gives you an, like give you an additional normal summon, just as an example. And then be like, you know, you summon your or maybe not counter punch, but like you summon a level four battle box or link it away for the link one. Link one gives you another summon, you summon switch hitter, switch hitter summons monster back. Go for lead yoke. That's not much, but it's better than what the battle boxers have. So maybe a link too. Okay, so set yourself up a little bit. Switch hitter brings back a monster. And then, uh, you know, you go for your link two. And that link two, I don't know, it summons a battle boxer from the deck. And one of the new ones will have an effect when summoned from the deck. Brings back a battle boxer from the graveyard or something. I don't know. It just needs something. Needs a little bit of something. But yeah, Lead Yoke is protecting us from that heavy infantry. Now he's at 3,000. Every time I detach material, he will become stronger. That's what the Xyz block is mainly for. It's just for this guy. Because Lead Yoke is really one of the mainstays of any Battle and Boxer deck. You know, you got your Star Cestus and your Comet Cestus if you can manage it. But Lead Yoke is the heart and soul. You know? He is the OG boy. Alright, Abyssalacia. And, ah, oh, Pot of Avarice. Okay. He's going to be getting back a lot of stuff. Most importantly, he's going to be getting back two draws. Alright. Uh, what is he going to leave in the... He's probably going to leave this in the grave. Uh, I didn't notice what he left in the grave. He was going too fast. Yeah, he did leave the Palladium in the grave. That makes the most sense. Because obviously that's in the grave to protect his uh, Palladians. Presuming there are any Palladians at all. I mean, there might not be. Maybe he's just playing that because it's a water monster. Um, it's possible. What is this? Deep Sea Aria. Banish of water. Out of water. Huh. Must be part of that uh, Deep Sea Diva archetype that I don't recall ever seeing anyone play. I don't think even anybody on YGO Pro played that deck. I mean, not to say there's anything wrong with the uh, Deep Sea Diva archetype. Are you Deep Sea Diva? Lead yoke! Lead yoke! Why are you dead? What happened? Why is there a turtle? Alright, I've been toitled. I've been toitled timed. Alright. This is how you want to be? Fine. Be this way. I've got my Durandal. I'm gonna put it on this Taiju. I mean, you're gonna get to ditch a card. Yeah, unfortunate. He's gonna Durandal. He's gonna stop my Durandal from working. But, if he gets rid of this kaiju, things are fine. Because Durandal will work. But it's fine because he hits my kaiser. Alright, I get to summon three monsters. Very nice. You foolish fool. My kaiser recovers all monsters. Hello? How you doing? I just picked it random, really. I mean, I'm just bringing out monsters. Now I'm going to go ahead and get myself another monster. I'm going to get... Um, good question. Let's get Shadow for no particular reason. I am gonna get Shadow Boy for no particular reason, but trust me, there is a reason. I can make so many things, but I'm gonna go for stuff. So what I'm gonna do, make Lead Yoke. That's step one. Step two, I can use Shadow. I can attach material from my Lead Yoke in order to summon a Shadow. This will, of course, give Lead Yoke that boost. Flash jaw goes up and I get a switch hitter back. Oh man, this guy is about to get hit really hard. 
I mean, granted, only the Battle Boxers this turn, but it's fine. Like I said, alright, let's go for another lead yoke. Because I can. And then I have my normal summon. So I'm gonna summon Headgeared. Because he'll dump me a counter punch. So I can boost a monster by a thousand. So let's go ahead, beat into our opponent. And it should be game unless he's got some sort of hand trap. You know, that's just how it is, man. I mean, he, he put up some fight, this mermail guy. He had some interesting stuff going. But it didn't work. Lead yoke, too powerful for little Atlanteans. You know? I mean, he can summon that thing back, and it's all good and fine and dandy. But I can just protect me monsters. I need to protect myself. You know? That's how it works. Uh, okay. Attack with this lead yoke. Uh, uh, nope. Don't need to do that. It's gonna attack for game with my first lead yoke. And there you go, another nice duel against the Atlantean Mermails. I guess was trying to say when he interrupted me. Uh, it was a good game, and I'm going to tell him it was a good game. Indeed it was. Good game, Mr. Professor Coas. And let's go ahead, go for third duel, and show off some more Battle and Boxer beatdown. Alrighty, our third opponent. Let's see how it goes, folks. So far, so good. So far, it's pretty good. Let's see. Okay, I can work with that. Master Rule 5. Again, this is fine. I didn't put the card in myself, but certainly something you can do. So what we're going to do is Headgear is going to go ahead and dump us a Switch Hitter. And I'm going to use my Juice. This is going to go ahead and get my card back for me. That way I can use Switch Hitter later. There you go. And I've got Sparboy. There you go. I'm going to summon him in defense mode. And I probably should just go ahead and use reinforcement of the army just to search more things. Um, That's a good decision. What should I go for? Um, thinking, thinking. Another switch hitter. Let's get all the switch hitters in the world. And we shall be good. Baguska, do the thing you do where you sit in defense mode. That's where I like you to be. Just sit right there. Don't ever move. All right. So once again, starting with the Bagoose. Bagoose is the king of battling boxes. Look at him. He's ready to just stand right up and start punching people. That's what he does. So what does our opponent do? Let's see here. Standard deck size. 11 card extra deck. Hmm. Dragon Maids. Okay. Could be slightly problematic. Because his effects work in the battle phase. But I've got Dark Hole, so argument to be made that I should be okay. We'll see how it goes. I've got Xyz block, so that's nice. I can negate his monster effects and junk. I can live with that. Let's go ahead and set that up. I really wish this worked on any kind of summon. Um, I'll set one and pass. I've got two, so I think I'll be okay. Ugh, I didn't want to have to set it, but I need more monsters on the board for when it's time to go for the battle. Ooh, he's got the impermanence. That's unfortunate, but I can still Xyz block. That's the thing. I can still hit him up with Xyz block. And I'm probably going to do that because I don't want him to do stuff. I'm almost going to be like, no. No Dargan made from Chambers for you. Granted, he still has little parlor. Still has a little parlor. Go for battle phase and bounce that and get out of dragon. Because that's what dragon maids do. You know? They summon out little, little maids and then they go for the big old dragons. So now he's got dragon maid. He's going to beat over Baguska for some reason. I'm not sure why. He was going to get destroyed later anyway. But, you know, whatever he wants. Go right ahead. And... Uh, yeah, let's see. You can bring, uh, level 3 from the hand. Okay. So, as the battle phase, Parlor comes back and dumps another monster. Sad but true. Alright. Ah, and he's got the fusion card. That's not good. Strahl is certainly something not so good for us. Because Strahl negates so much stuff. And we know for a fact that he's got everything to make that straw, buddy. And ha! <laughs> oh, he forgot about his own impermanence. I love it when people do that. 
Uh, only on Y Joe Pro is anybody dumb enough to do that. Okay. Well, maybe he has a spare. Who knows? Who knows? You know, it's like, you play your impermanence. You're not supposed to play anything in the same column as impermanence. If you forget that, then you deserve to not have your stuff work. That's just how it is. All right. So the question is, okay, he's got nothing else. Good. Good and better. Alright, let's go ahead and flip up a switch hitter. Uh, let's go ahead and normal summon switch hitter, number two. Use his effect. Bring back headgear for no particular reason. Just because, I mean, I could go for spar for a little extra damage, but I don't care. Uh, let's see, that's 4,000. So, yeah, I can do a little bit more damage just by straight up battling. So, I'm gonna do that first. Gonna attack with everything we got, and then we're gonna go for all the things, man. That's just how it is. Let's go ahead and attack for that. Now, I really am starting to wish I had a, a second Baguska. I have two Baguskas. That would have been nice, but I only have the one. Now, lesson learned. Play more Baguska. Alright. Let's go ahead and bring out our uh, other Sparrow here. Let's go ahead and make some dudes. Let's go for a lead yoke. Hello. And I'll make myself a Nova Kaiser. Why not? Just make a Nova Kaiser just to have a Nova Kaiser on the bard. Go ahead and put that there, and we're good. I think we're pretty good right there. Got my lead yoke. I've got my Kaiser. This will protect Kaiser. Even if Kaiser leaves, I'll get monsters back. And things will be good. Things will be pretty darn good. But we can't be too caught. We can't be too resting too much on our laurels. You know, we're up against dragon maids. We know what they're like. Yeah, because see, now he's going to be able to revive Chamber. And now Chamber's going to get the spell. And the spell will allow the fuse. And I knock something over. But it's okay, because right now I'm focused on this. Okay, so now he's going to get that dang old fusion spell. No? He's going to get hospitality. Interesting. Oh, but of course, he can just get this back by bouncing one of these. What am I thinking? He's gonna bounce back the noise. Bounce back, dang old nurse. He's gonna play that hospitality at some point, but I'm thinking the fusion's gonna come first. I've got this feeling the fusion will be first. Alrighty, sorry, I'll have to check something real quick. There, Butch, we're back. And now, what is our opponent up to? Just dumping stuff. Okay. Okay, now the fusioning happens. The time of fusing is now and dandy. Alright. So the question is, what's he going to lose to do that dragon? Nah, there she is. Straw. Dang old straw. And that dragon maid, welcome. Hundred attack and defense for every dragon maid you control. And now he's going to battle phase and he's going to switch these two out for other monsters. Because that's what he likes to do. Luckily, I've still got lead yoke. Unfortunately, he still has straw, though. <coughs> Pardon me, yes. Yeah, unfortunately, straw has an omni negation, which is the thing that's going to make this a lot more difficult. The one thing, if it does not have an omni negation, but it does. But luckily, I've still got lead yoke. And uh, actually, lead yoke could even crash into straw. That's a nice thing. You know, he can beat into me, but Lead Yoke will become as powerful as Stroll. Granted, he'll just get this back into his hand and then he can discard it and stuff, but... You know, I, I gotta get some positives in here, man. It ain't over until the Lead Yoke si Oh, he already had one in his hand. Gosh darn it. <coughs> oh, pardon me, why am I coughing? I don't know why. No, I don't have no Corona, damn it. I've actually got a Pepsi. It's not a Pepsi, it's a Coke, but you know what I mean. Um, can I do that? Yes, I can. All right, very nice. Quick swig, all right. So Lead Yoke has protected himself, and that's very nice. That way I'll take a little less damage. And I've still got a dark hole, so all's good in the hood. You know, I might lose Nova Kaiser. But this was the this was the plan. This was part of the whole plan, folks.
You know, I'm gonna get all those monsters back. Let's get you, you, and you for no reason whatsoever. I'm just picking monsters. Put that. Put that. I could have put headgear and attack and all that, but it doesn't matter. What matters is I've got all these monsters now. Granted, he still has an attack. And because of the house dragon made, he can pop one of my monsters when one of his monsters bounce. So I need to draw another monster in order to win this duel. If I'm going to have any chance at all, I'm going to need another monster. Because I've got a plan. I've got a plan, and that plan is all I've got to me. The only thing I've got to my name right now is that plan. If I don't get the plan out, I'm dead. That's just how it is. Dragon maids are a little more consistent than the Batley boxers. It's sad but true. Well, we'll see. Like I said, if I can draw a monster at the very least, I can go for lead yoke number two, dark hole, nuke his board, continue to use lead yoke to beat into my opponent. So if I can do that, never mind, that doesn't work anymore. That no longer applies. All right. Oh wait, God. <gasps> Gearfraid. Gearfraid. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh yes, Gearfraid. Do the thing where you steal his monsters. Yes. Give me this. It stops my attack, but I have stolen his stuff. Very nice. Phoenix Gearfried, I run him in here just because of the equips. I have stolen my opponent's monster, it's now an equip. I can negate a monster effect by by getting rid of this. It's pretty nice. You know, he can like you know, you know he can try to do that stuff. I'm gonna be like, no. No monster effect though for you. That's right. Phoenix Gearfried, baby. And the thing is I can equip my own monsters to this. That way. I can just keep up the monster effect negating. And I've still got dank hole in my hand. Oh man. Don't get me wrong. This guy had me on the ropes for like two seconds. Two whole seconds. But now we're back in the field of battle. I've got my Phoenix Skid of Freed here. Got another Dragon Maid Welcome for some reason. I guess he really wants more attack points for the monsters he doesn't have. Because this here is game, folks. I have all the damage I need. All right, so, you know what? We'll let Headgear attack first. Phoenix Gearfried, you deserve the final blow because it was because of you that we're in this situation. So, good duel from Dragon Maids, but unfortunately for them, uh, you know, I have Gearfried, and I was just able to outplay his straw. So, let's go for fourth duel and see if we can get ourselves a perfect record today. Alrighty, final duel of the day. Don't get to pick this time, which is sad. I'm going second. Which, again, I would have preferred other things. Let's see. Hello, there you go. Yeah, so we'll see what our opponents got. Ah, oh, ninjas. Mmm, they can be tricky. Ninjas are a tricky bunch. Not gonna lie, it's kind of in their name. They are ninjas. Although, which of them is truly ninja-y? I mean, he's got, okay, he's actually playing the Pendulums. I mean, I play Jogan too, but mostly he's Link material and stuff. Like for this guy, Saizo. Who is probably the most ninja ninja, because he's wearing blue. If you didn't know, folks, ninjas wear blue. Alright, so he's got his notebook. He can ditch a ninja for one of his ninjutsu cards, which I'm surprised he didn't do before playing that. I mean, don't get me, oh, oh, he had another one, okay. Well, it's about to say. Why do you only have a two-card extra deck? Wait, what the heck? I just don't. I just noticed this. Why does he only have two cards in extra deck? He should have a whole bunch more than that. Now I'm gonna have to play ninjas to show people how ninjas work. It's a thing. And I've gotta play flame noble knights because of this guy who was playing noble knights the other day. And now I've got to play freaking ninjas. I don't have a problem. I always like playing ninjas, but at the same time, there were other things I was going to play, and I've still got other plays to do. Let's go ahead and Monster Reborn. I usually don't like to play the Monster Reborn this early, but in this situation, I think it's a good idea. You know, we're just going to go ahead for our lead yoke. Put lead yoke right here. There you go. 
Uh, see, what's this do? Well, it's got points to a monster, can't be targeted for attacks, blah, 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 don't care. All right, let's attack into Saizo. I've got Cosmic Cyclone if I need it, which evidently I did not. Dig of Destiny, when you take damage, draw one card. I don't know what we're up against, and it slightly worries me. Is this an Exodia deck? Is this Ninja Zodias or something nonsensical? I mean, that's the only explanation I have for my opponent not having more of an extra deck. So, I suppose it's possible. Um, okay, now we got Kagen. Uh, let's see. Made that monster get a thousand attack till the end of the damage step. Okay, but I've got the. Okay, he's got both scales now. Interesting enough. But he still only has two cards in his extra deck. He might have the Shogun, and he might have Shingetsu, but... Uh, can't target monsters for attacks except this one. Okay. Um... Veninja summons, do stuff. Da -da -da -da. Veninja, Ninjutsu art will be destroyed. Um... Interesting. You know what? Cosmic Cyclone. I'm gonna get rid of the field spell. I just, for some reason, I don't want him to have that. I don't know what it is, but I don't want him to have that. And yeah, he's gonna get to add two ninjas, but like, what could he reasonably get in this situation? You know, I've got Lead Yoke. He might have, oh, he's trying to lock me out with Shingetsu. That's what he done. Trying to summon a bunch of those. I see. Okay. Interesting. I guess. I guess, in a sense, it's an interesting concept. Um. Alright. Let's go ahead and use Boxer. Attach material. Bring out Boxer. Gonna go ahead and make this guy bigger. So now I can only attack Shingetsu, which I shall do. Uh, no. Go ahead and beat over that. He is going to get a thing back. Add a ninja from deck to hand except itself. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to get another Hanzo. Uh, I have to attack one of those three. Attack Shogun. I want to get rid of the Shogun because I have a feeling he wants to keep that Shogun. I want to get rid of the Shogun and I could normal summon stuff. I could bring out his Zold and do stuff there. Hmm. 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 Thinking, 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 thinking. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring out Phoenix. Phoenix, go off. Ditch Glassjaw. Get rid of Coggin. I don't want him to have Coggin, what can I say? And I could do more. Well, not really. Not the moment. I have to wait on that one. For now, we're good. I just want to stop him from setting up that defensive wall. Because while I have Dark Hole to stop said wall, I'd rather, you know, not have to rely on that. I'm still really curious as to what sort of ninja deck this is, other than just straight up lockdown and Shingetsu's. You know, it's like a thing. Like, what is he up to? What is the point? You know, because he is going to do some damage. I can't deny that. But I've got my switch hitter. So, you know, I'm going to be getting out another lead yoke. A Nova Kaiser, whatever the heck I want. Whatever the heck I want, and that's what I'm going to go for. Alright, so he's got some damage on me. This is fine. I'm going to keep on rolling with it. Alright, let's go ahead for switch hitter. Go ahead and use his effect. Bring back Glassy Jaw. Put him right here. Thank you. And let's go ahead for Lead Yoke. Nomoro Dose. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and beat into that Shingetsu. As long as I keep getting rid of the Shingetsus. Um, I don't know if that's how that works. I think he's trying to lock me out there, but I'm... I mean, granted, he has another one. Okay, it does work that way. Shoot. Now I just need my... Now I need Dark Hole. So I can nuke the board, but... I don't know, I still think this is some sort of weird Exodia deck. 
I'm not gonna lie, folks. It looks like a weird Exodia deck. Rust Mist is a little late at this point of the duel, don't you think? You know, I kind of already have monsters and stuff. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, Coggin! He's thinking he's going to be beating over my monsters for lots of damage. But, I've got Lead Yoke. You know, I'm going to detach material. My monster's now bigger than yours and all that good stuff. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh yeah, I've got Joyesu. That'll be nice. Um, Seeing if there's anything I want back. Not necessarily, but I'm going to play this anyway. Gonna go ahead. I got switch hitter in my hand. What do I want to get back? Headgeared, maybe? I mean, uh, or maybe I should get back lead yoke. I'm gonna get back my lead yoke. I just have a feeling I might need this. I have this slight strange feeling I might want to get that. So, yeah, I can't attack, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a bummer, because I'm all about the attacking. But he's got this weird ninja lockdown thing going. I mean, granted, he's gonna keep getting these rusty mists, but the rust mist doesn't do anything, you know, at the moment, you know, because of, uh, stuff. I think he's just trying to waste my stuff at this point. You know, I'm gonna detach my stuff and, you know, all that. Glass jaw's gonna go off. I'm gonna get switch hitter back. So get a dang old switch hitter. What can I say? Alright, now what are you gonna do? Cause, uh, your rust mist only works when I summon stuff. Ah, but now I have this. Uh, let's go ahead and have a dark hole. See if he's got something in response to that. Yeah, you need to have a ninja for this to work. Just so you're aware of my lad. Ah, but I forgot about the stupid village. I forgot about the stinky, stinky village. Alright. Okay, now we might be in a bit of trouble. And by a bit, I mean a lot. Alright. So if I summon something, it gets automatically halved twice. Alright. Nova Kaiser. Put him in defense mode. Okay. I think I might be dead, folks. I'm not gonna lie. Unfortunate indeed. I probably should have waited to get... Oh, I should have waited. I should have waited for my other Cosmic Cyclone. That would have been the smart move. Unfortunately, I didn't make the smart move. I made a dumb move. So, unfortunately, it looks like I've lost this duel. And you know, it's sad to say I lost to the janky ninja deck, but I did. So, sad to say, but it happens. So... Let's just go ahead into the end screen, and we'll talk more about Battling Box. All righty, Battling Box is just fine today. We got three wins out of four. I'm happy with that. I mean, granted, we lost to Janky Ninjas, but that just that just happens every once in a while. But regardless, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. Baguska is, in fact, the Battling Box of Supreme. He helps out a lot. And, yo, know, I'm just hoping that this will, in some small way, reinvigorate Battling Boxer help, you know, or not help, but, uh, interest. Interest in Battling Boxes, because they do need some legacy support. Just a wee bit. So, regardless, I hope you guys did enjoy today's deck. Smash like for Battling Boxes. Tomorrow, I'm going to be trying to do a double feature to make up for lost time. We'll see how it goes, but regardless, it's either going to be Flame Noble Knights or Murphy. One of the two. We'll see how it goes. But until next time, your boy Memphis is signing out. I'll see y'all next time.